No, let's see. Uh, we have some examples about it. Don't worry if you uh, just don't know anything about these commands yet. We have some examples about it, but for now, let's see uh, how we can intercept and hook the C-thread instructions. The C-thread instruction is uh, used to return from the kernel mode to the user mode. It's uh, it's just uh, another side of when, whenever you use the syscall instruction, you will go from the user mode to the kernel mode and when you want to return from uh, the uh, from a system called then uh, the windows uh, runs a sysret instruction you, uh, if uh, we, we we are able to hook uh, the syscalls then we we will know what what was the result of the syscall and uh whether it's uh, it was successful or not or what was the state of the system when it tries to uh, run that system call uh so the hooking system calls are done by sysret uh, command uh, again this is an event and uh, it's implemented the same way as syscall command uh, by uh, disabling the syscall enabled bit in uh, uh, EFER MSR. It, this command uh, is not uh, compatible with patch guard just like syscall command and uh, whenever you want to use uh, just syscall or just sysred one of them both of them are start triggering events because there's no way to just make one of them uh, to trigger the events so both of them start to trigger uh, triggering events most of the times uh, sysred hooking is useful whenever it's combined with the syscall hooking we have some examples here and here's uh, an example where we combine these two, two commands in a mi meaningful uh, way. Uh, in this example, uh, we want to intercept the results of the system call with the system call number 0x55. Uh, and uh, we have a special thread. We want to uh, just intercept the, this special syscall for uh, this special thread, which is 0x1c40. First of all, uh, we create a variable, we create a global variable uh, here. Uh, we use dot at the start of uh, this variable, so it means that it's a global variable. And uh, we initialize it with zero. This is an indicator that uh, we see uh, this system call. For example, let's just uh, explain it, and after that, I will explain the sister. Uh, uh, first of all, there, there are some reasons why I just uh, wrote sister uh, first, and the second thing is Cisco. Uh, for uh, the second one, uh, we will check whether the thread ID or the pseudo register for thread ID is equal to this specific value, which is uh, or target thread ID. And then we check whether the system a system call number, which is located on RAX register, uh, equal to zero x five five or not. If we see this special system call in this thread, then we set uh, the thread intercept thread to one, which is an indicator that uh, the uh, that the application executes this system call, and now uh the next thing that we expect to see from this thread this special thread is a sysret uh, so uh in this example we just print uh, the system call number aligned with the, its parameters and after that uh, we come to the sysret instruction in sysret instruction uh, or in sysret event first we check whether we are in the <coughs> same uh thread or not if we are in the same thread, we check whether the uh, thread already executed the syscall instruction or not. And if it executes, then we just try to unset this global variable to make it available for the next uh, runs. Uh, and uh, and we print the result of the system calls. You, can, you definitely know that we can, uh, here we can 
manipulate the result of the system called by simply just uh, changing the RX registers or these kind of things.